What is the most disturbing thing that has ever happened to you? When I was 19, I was walking home from the library and a cop pulled up to the curb, asking to see my ID. I wasn't sure what was going on, but I showed it to him. After a moment of verifying that I was who my ID claimed I was, he apologized and handed me a printout of a missing teen, a couple of years younger than me. She could have been my identical twin. I told him that I didn't blame him for thinking I was her. I don't remember her name, I was too shaken up by the picture. But I still wonder what she's doing and if she's okay. It was nearly 20 years ago. I developed schizophrenia then had my first schizophrenic attack at work. I was working it was like any other day, but out of the corner of my eye I could just see things shift and distort. Usually I'd see bugs but that was normal at that point, I was diagnosed with psychosis, but this time it was just different. Then, out of nowhere I look at and directly see a hooded person burst in through the doors with a gun. I yelled and dropped to the floor and everybody looked at me like I was the craziest person on planet earth. I was so panicked I didn't care, I could still see the guy and apparently I was rambling. They started asking what I took and what I was on, I came back and told them I thought I was drugged. I don't remember much after that, I kept getting this horrible sinking hopeless feeling of dread in the back of my mind, like an atomic bomb was dropping right next to me and there was nothing I could do. I still have days like that, that was 6 years ago. A few years ago, my uncle woke up at around 2 in the morning because of the ringing of a telephone beside his bed. He picked it up, and it was his friend. His friend was asking how my uncle was and such. After a brief conversation, his friend said that he was peaceful where he is, things felt great, and that he's happy. My uncle was glad to hear that and said goodbye. As he put down the telephone, my uncle woke up and realized that he was dreaming. The next day, he heard news about his friend being killed by an intruder in his house at around 1 am. My family and I lived in a tiny house when I was a kid. The front door opened to the living room and faced my bedroom door, which was probably 15 feet away. I was about 10 or 11 at the time. One night, I heard a pounding at the front door. Like, someone just banging. It was somewhat rhythmic and would start and stop suddenly. I thought maybe it was our dog, who had a utility room to himself. Sometimes, he'd dig at the door to that room when he got bored. But he was sound asleep. I peered out the side windows, but saw nothing on the front porch. I walked up to the door and the banging sounded again. I put my hand on the door, but didn't feel any vibrations until I ran my hand to the lower right corner of the door. So maybe someone was kicking the door. The odd thing is that we had a screen door that was locked at night as well. I checked the windows again, and saw no one outside. At this point, I'm completely creeped out, so I go back to my room, and put a few things behind the door. The next morning, I asked my parents if they heard the noise. They said no. When we opened the door, there was a set of muddy footprints going up the sidewalk, to the door, and back again, a few times. In college I took a local history course. Part of the course required us to dig into the local museum's archives and read the journals, notes etc. that had been collected over the years and write an essay about a certain subject. Once I had narrowed down my topic I spent several nights digging through the 100-year-old field journals of this local surveyor. Mostly dull uninteresting notes about the local geography, survey coordinates and other mundane details. While delicately going through probably the 15th straight book, had to wear these special archive gloves, I turned a page and written in pencil in the middle of the page and the surveyor's handwriting was my name. First and last name spelled exactly the same with nothing else written down around it. Just ordinarily written down like when someone quickly jots down the name of a contact. Really creeped me out since the notebooks were probably close to 90 to 100 years old and as far as I know nobody had opened them since they had been donated to the museum. Now the combination of my first and last name isn't exactly rare but to see it spelled the exact same way in the author's writing was odd to say the least. My dad grew up on a farm. He was playing in the hayloft where he wasn't supposed to be. At some point, he got too close to the edge and started falling backward. That's when he felt a hand forcefully pushing him up and back to safety. He thought it was his dad, who was going to be mad at him but he turned around and no one was there. When I was in elementary, I went to school ridiculously early for swim practice. Turns out it was cancelled and I only found out when I got there. That meant that I had the whole school to myself. I waited near the school gate and soon enough my homeroom teacher arrived. I greeted her, saying hi Ms. Grace. 
Here's where it gets weird, she ignored me and walked past me. Confused, I looked toward the gate, then back at where she was walking. Except, she wasn't there. I was a bit frightened at this point so I went to wait outside my locked classroom, which happens to be next to the restrooms. I sat down on the floor. A few minutes later, I heard the eeriest, creepiest laugh coming from the restroom. It was really high-pitched, almost witch-like. It made my hair stand on end. I was so scared I ran back toward the school gate. A few minutes later, my homeroom teacher, the one I had just seen earlier who ignored me and then vanished into thin air, passed through the gate. She saw me and greeted me. I was too freaked out to reply. Until now, I have no idea what on earth happened. It's the only paranormal experience I haven't been able to explain to this day. I was hanging out at a friend's house in their basement with my friend, his girlfriend and mine. We were all playing an RPG. It was the middle of the day. We hear the door open upstairs, footsteps on the floor, hear the cellar door open and my friend's dad call downstairs, Pete, you home? My friend answers affirmatively and then we hear, come upstairs a minute I need your help. We all head upstairs. There is no one there. No car in the driveway, no one in the house at all but the four of us. All four of us heard the same thing. One time my brother woke up with scratches on his back, arms and stomach. He was probably eight or nine years old. Our rooms were separated by a bathroom and at, I don't know two or three in the morning he woke up screaming and crying. My mom couldn't see him, she was terrified because he was supposed to be on his room but when she opened the door she said she couldn't find him, I assume it was a case of night blindness, and when she found him and turned on the lights she was very anxious. My mom decided to bring a dog to the house and made us share room for at least a year. Weird shit always happens to my brother. When I was around 13, I was in my room getting dressed. I leaned over and felt a splat on my back. Put my hand there and it comes back covered in blood. I'm disturbed, I can't find any sort of source, but I clean it off and continue to clothe myself. Next time I lean over I feel it again. I now freak out and search my ceiling and anything that might have had a red substance on or around it. Room is spotless. I told myself it wasn't blood and instead was some art material but it quickly browned as blood does. Haunts me to this day. But it Everyone that has forgotten my name thinks my name is Thomas, it's happened over 15 times now, and when I ask they always say I look like a Thomas. My parents were originally going to call me Thomas, but changed their minds a few days before I was born. Pretty weird, but probably a coincidence. I remember having a younger brother, I remember waiting back after school got over so we could leave at the same time, I remember my dad taking us out to watch Wally. -E. I remember having a lot of memories with him, turns out, my brother never existed, my parents don't remember him, my friends don't remember him, all the pictures I took with him are gone. Turns out, I just had an imaginary friend. My family go to a garden center near my town every winter. Well this one year, the day before we were supposed to go I had a dream that on our way, the wheel of the car came off and we crashed hard. It was such a horrible, graphic dream. My mom's legs had been crushed, my dad stuck etc. Well I told my mom in the morning and she joked that she'd check the wheels. She actually must have, she said the car had felt weird and the dream unnerved her. Lo and behold, the tire is loose and needs to be taken to a mechanic. Really weird experience, especially as I've never had a dream feel so real before. I had a dream one night that I was given this baby to hold and she was beautiful but looked like my sister. When I woke up I cried uncontrollably about this baby and couldn't calm down for nearly two hours. Fast forward six months and I had another few of these dreams mostly the same but now I knew she had a name, Maria. I told my parents these dreams just lied heartily but their faces just shut down down. A few hours later they told me before I was born they had a stillborn and called her Maria. They asked me what the baby looked like and they kept crying. Never had the dream again. A couple years ago I had a terrifying episode of what felt like sleep paralysis, but could have just been pure fear keeping me from moving quickly. As I was sleeping with my headphones and listening to rain sounds on a loop the whole night. Something very loudly screams my name through the headphones. It wasn't a brief moment, it kept screaming it, until I pulled the headphones out of my ears. It took me a long time to pull out my headphones because I was so stunned I froze for a while with my hands almost at my ears, fingers hooked, ready to yank the cords. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.